Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo, we're here at the South Park Center. I'm delighted to be with Kaz, who's come all the way from England to be here with her movie, They Don't Leave. Let's take a look at the clip. You know how my memory of being a kid isn't great. Your grandparents died before you were born. I am sorry, our family is so broken. But know that I love you. I love you. I love you. Uh, Kaz, thank you so much for coming all the way from England to be here. It's amazing. Oh, thank you for having me. It's been such a pleasure. Seriously, um, thank you so much for bringing your film to us. Thank you for being here. Welcome to the New Filmmakers LA family. Um, I've got so many questions about your amazing film, but for those that haven't seen it, tell us a brief synopsis. Um, it's about a woman who's at a crossroads in her life, who's trying to quit drinking and sort of sort herself out. Mm -hmm. And so she seeks refuge in an ancestral cabin that's been in her family for generations, but she's never been to. Mm -hmm. And while she's there, she unravels this sort of sinister familial history that relates to her in more ways than one. And the film's really about her confronting that yeah. history. It's a brilliant story. And Thank you. It's so complex, and it just sort of takes you into a space where we don't always know everything about our history, our families, our experiences, whilst going through your own as well. Um, where did the inspiration come for you in deciding to make this film? Um, it was two things, really. One, I think my early 20s and my late teens, I was messy and chaotic and trying to find myself in all the wrong places. Yeah. Um, and a series of events sort of led me to sort of make this decision about who I wanted to be and who I didn't want to be. Mm -hmm. And um, writing the film was really just sort of closing a chapter of yeah. my life and Good. sort of about what it means to take responsibility for your life and who mm -hmm. you are. Um, and also, I wrote it in 2018, Hereditary came out that year mm -hmm. and I loved that movie so much. Mm -hmm. And I think as artists, sometimes we'll see a movie that makes us just want to make something ourselves. Yeah, and that's, absolutely. That's what happened with, with Absolutely. This. But I mean, so you're from DC, you live in, the, in London. Yeah but you filmed this in Montana. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about how that journey came about, because obviously the location was amazing, um, but you know, how you, wait, how you filmed it in Montana, how that came about. Um, so my grandparents are um, American, mm -hmm. and it was their house originally. Beautiful house, yeah. Thank you, yeah. and um, I just spent a lot of my life there, mm -hmm. and always wanted to shoot there. It's one of my favorite places, I love it so much, and yeah. um, shooting there was incredible. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm from DC originally, but my parents worked for the UN, so there's a lot of hopping around, just kind of yeah. the army brat model, and that's how I ended up in the UK, so. Amazing. A bit of me in lots of places. I yeah, guess. no, uh, no, absolutely amazing. Um, this story really goes through, you know, from having something in your own personal dynamics that you're trying to come through, go through traumas, experiences, and then obviously learning more about your family and what that goes through. I thought your yeah. actor was amazing. Um, how did you go about, you know, bringing your cast together firstly? Um, well, the lead is um, Emmeline O'Hara, who I've worked with on and off for 10 years. I absolutely love her and love her on set, love, love her on camera. And we have a very um, symbiotic relationship. Mm -hmm. And so I, I sort of wrote the part for her, like with her in mind. Mm -hmm. um, she still auditioned, but it was sort of written for her. And the rest of the cast, um, we found through Mandy. Um, and I don't know if you have that here. Yeah, Mandy, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and through my Montana producer. Who, Amazing. Yeah, yeah. That's fantastic. How, how, I mean, listen, when, when there's a character that's going through with so much complexities and dynamics and, and growth throughout the whole film, What's your process in working with your actors? How do, you, what's your, how do you work with your actors as a director? So writing and working with actors are really my favorite mm -hmm. parts of the process. Everything else I sort of just put up with so I can do <laughs> both of those two things. Um, and I think with something like this, it was really about navigating, like making sure everyone felt safe and yeah. appreciated on set. It's such mm -hmm. a like sort of icky subject matter really. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, just making sure everyone felt safe enough to express themselves vulnerably. vulnerably. Like, yeah. acting is such a vulnerable thing. And I think it's just important for actors to feel, yeah, safe and 
Yeah. Well, it's so important for, for a director to understand that as well, because I think the more, you know, the more free and, and trust you can have, the more free you are in your character as well. What is it? I mean, listen, it must be quite special to go back to the place that you kind of grew up and have many memories and then film a film about many memories of this particular place. Like, what was, what was the experience like all together in production, like working in Montana together? I'm sure that was like a, a beautiful camaraderie. It really was just the most wonderful experience. Um, I think Montana is a very um, hospitable state and I think the, the filmmaking community there is really passionate, really creative, really welcoming. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I think as, as a set, we just had just an amazing time. It was a really mm -hmm. special, special mm -hmm. experience. Yeah. What was, was there any challenges making the film? Um, I, I mean, I wrote, we were sort of all set to shoot right before COVID. So that was a challenge being yeah. sort of delayed for two years. Um, we actually lost a cast, an original cast member, um, like I think it was about a month before we started shooting. And so that was oh, difficult emotionally and also, yeah, also logistically. Um, and post-production was difficult, but like now that it's all done, it was a pretty drama free shoot. Yeah. Like there weren't that many active problems that mm. were outside of the usual, you know. Yeah. I, I, I really think your film, you know, it's, it's one of those films that I think there's so many relatable moments where someone can either identify, know someone who's going through, maybe self-reflection around themselves, their own traumas, their families. And I'm just curious, like with all those, all that context, but what did you, what did you want you, your audience to experience from the film? Um, I think, I think I, I'm, I and other people that made the film are all survivors. And yeah. I think that we really wanted survivors to feel seen and heard and to mm -hmm. know that you're not alone and that what happened to you doesn't have to define you. Yeah. And I think that um, that goes beyond whether, you know, you're a, a survivor of childhood abuse or whatever it is. I think as we were discussing yesterday, yeah. everyone has pain and trauma that they've had to conquer. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I just, I just, I guess that's my goal is just for people to feel seen and heard. That's yeah. what movies always did for me. And yeah. yeah. Well, as I said yesterday, you know, someone who's gone through that, I found your film very healing and it's nice mm -hmm. because when you have those weak moments when you've been through any form of trauma, anyone, you know, these movies help, you know, yeah. and you create that platform. So I know your film's gonna either educate, but also be therapeutic as well as entertaining, which is also amazing. What's it been like, you know, obviously it must be crazy because you're like, you're from DC, you live in London, you shot this in Montana, but you're here in LA with new filmmakers. <laughs> like, how's the experience been for you? What was it like at the festival? How's that been for you? It's this festival specifically, you mean? Oh, any any festival. I mean, this oh, festival, you can mention <laughs> if you want. This mean, festival yeah. has been amazing. Oh. It's been such an awesome experience. Yeah. Um, and the festival circuit in general, it's my first one really. Um, and so yeah, I've learned a lot, met a lot of great people. Yeah. I've had a blast, yeah. yeah and good. I don't know, hopping around from place to place is fun. Yeah, no, yeah. absolutely. It's so great to see your film in different places and different audience. Every audience is different too. So, yeah, yeah. You know, that was that was really great. It was lovely to see your film with a big screen because it was, you know, you can't help Montana's so beautiful to film yeah. in as well. Like there's some great shots in there as well. Um, what is next for you, Cass? Um, so I finished a neo-noir thriller um, that I'm looking to sell this year Amazing. and I have two other um, scripts that I just need to get to the best place possible just so I have a full, fully rounded portfolio and yeah, hopefully sell. Yes. Sell away. Let's sell, sell, sell. Amazing. Yeah. Um, and for any filmmakers out there, I want to kind of follow in the footsteps of just getting something they're passionate about, a story that's passionate to them about. Yeah. Do you have any advice about that? Um, Give yourself a break. Don't don't put too much pressure on yourself. Enjoy the process. You know, mm -hmm. I think that um, filmmaking is really really hard, and I think that sometimes we lose sight of why we got into it originally. Yeah. And if you can just remember what it is that you love about movies, and sort of hold on to that, and just enjoy yourself. You yeah. know, this should be fun more than anything else. You Absolutely, know? we don't hear that enough, and yeah. that is so important. Enjoy yourself. It's filmmaking. It's like it's yeah. all we can do. You know, it's hard work, but listen, here's what you did, and and, and and well done. So, but I just want to commend. Like, listen, it's such a wonderful to have you here, and the fact you travelled halfway across the world to be here. Thank you so very much. Thank and, uh, you for having me. It's been so great. We're looking forward to your next project, so thank, thank you very you. much. <laughs> Absolutely.